Hello everyone, ODSC0920 here, bringing you some War Thunder gameplay here today. Um, before I begin, I'd like to say that um, I've been playing War Thunder for quite a while now. Um, and this was before I even started recording this stuff. Um, and the nation I played as before, before I started playing as Germans. Oh, hell, the many Germans. <laughs> no, but the nation I was playing before was the Russians, and as you can see, I have a lot of progress done on the Russians. You know, pretty much done with tier 3, going to tier 4. And that's kind of where I'm at with the Germans, but um, right now, you know, I'm still going through tier 3. Um, so anyways, uh, today I would like to show you some gameplay, or at least start a few matches of uh, tank combat here. We're using the Tiger 1 and the Panzer... Oh my god, I'm going to botch that name. So I'm going to use the... Call it a... Pay to win Panzer IV, although it's not really much of a pay to win tank because pretty much any of these tanks here in tier 3 can crush this tank right here instantaneously uh, if you don't play it right. Uh, but anyways, I'd like to talk a little bit of history about the Tiger I here. Um, so back during uh, World War II, of course, uh, in the early stages of the war, the Germans were of course using tanks such as the Panzer III. Uh, Panzer 3 here, Panzer 3 L, Panzer 3 J1, They're pretty much pretty much the same thing, you know, with a few different variations in between here, uh, alongside with Panzer 4s, and um, during the early stages of the war, say like the Blitzkrieg and stuff like that, um, these tanks were very effective in invading France, Poland, and so on. Uh, however, when the Germans decided to invade Russia and start messing with, with Stalin and stuff like that. Um, Germans thought it was going to be a cakewalk because they thought the Russians were just a bunch of peasants with, you know, with pitchforks and some old, you know, double barrel shotguns. You know, typ typical farmer, uh, typical farmer uh, stereotype, right? But then the Russians, or not the Russians, sorry, <laughs> the uh, the Germans soon figured out that the Russians were, were a pretty well-equipped army, um, you know, with some pretty moderately decent rifles, uh, machine guns, very very large army of course, you know they had m like at least like a million men uh, partic participating in the war and um, when the Germans encountered the Russians uh, they realized that the Russians had tanks as well and they had some pretty good ones as well such as the T-34 series of tanks and the, sp <laughs> the special thing about these T-34s is if you notice here right here this front uh, front armor right here is sloped at a very very good angle and I'll show you the armor right here yeah the effective thickness was you know 21 millimeters and stuff like that but this is, this is a lighter lighter T-34 um, actually you know what I'll show you a better one ones that probably uh, Germans encountered oh well, actually yeah that that's probably one right there T-34 E S T Z, but also this one right here. I think this one might have some thicker armor on the front. So I'll show armor. Yeah. So with the T thirty four, the front armor was damn near impenetrable. Uh, the phase head on with uh, using the Panzer threes and Panzer fours. Uh, the only way you probably kill a T thirty four using a Panzer three or Panzer four is if you get a lucky hit uh, on the side right here. If you control armor again, you know, lucky sh shot on the side. If you say get a, you know, a decently squared uh, shot on the side or the or the back end of it, um, unless you show the extra right here, it might hit a fuel tank here, fuel tank there, or radiator rather. Here's more fuel tanks. You probably hit light the uh, tank on fire. But uh, the Germans encountered uh, numerous issues trying to deal with the T-34s. So what they instead developed in the early stages of the war in 1941 was the uh, the Tiger I tank, right? So there was Hitler uh, asked two people to develop a heavier tank prototype and whoever uh, won Hitler's approval would uh, be getting a contract from, from the Wehrmacht to make uh, as many uh, Tiger I tanks as they possibly could. And there was two people. There was one was named uh, Porsche, and I uh, I forget I forget the other one's name, but I'm pretty sure you, you know you probably commented in the comments below. Um, 
so they competed, and the other guy uh, won because he used traditional uh, he used a traditional methods designing the engine of the tank and used a traditional uh, way of designing a drivetrain system for it. Um, and of course, it was tried and true. However, with Jenny, no, Daniel Force. What? I don't think his first name is Daniel. But anyways, I, I digress. Uh, <clears throat> with Porsche's design of an engine, he had, uh, I believe it was two separate motors? Two electrically drive motors, uh, one for each track, so that way uh, the tank had, uh, I, think, I believe it was either better torque or something, I don't remember what it was. I remember watching a program on it, and I'm trying to go, uh, do this based off of memory. <laughs> As you can see, I'm failing very, very bad. <laughs> um, but anyways, um, so in 1941, 1942, uh, the Tiger I was was starting to get mass produced, and then it saw uh, it saw positive effects on the battlefield just uh, because of the Tiger tanks, uh, 80 millimeter, 88 millimeter gun here. And if you look at these stats, yeah, 88 millimeter KWK 36 cannon. Um, the tank was heavily armored. As you can see, I'll let me pull up the uh, customization, right? Pull up the armor right here. So front armor, I mean, its thickness was pretty, pretty well. You know, 125 millimeter thickness, facing the front. And for the T34s that were, that the Panzer III and Panzer IVs faced at the time, uh, they couldn't really penetrate this front armor right here. However, when the Russians uh, realized they were losing a lot of their uh, lighter caliber T-34s, they developed the T-3485, and that was basically their counter to the, uh, to the Tiger I tank. However, um, if you notice, if you angled the Tiger I properly, say, eh, 30 to, like, 15 or 30 degree angle or so, you can increase your effective thickness of your tank to increase it to about 150, 170, almost 200 millimeters of, uh, of effective thickness. And the same uh, for right here on the side part or the side hole of the tank. Um, if you angle it just properly you can get 180 millimeters and the further you go back it increases up to 200, 250 or so. And um, it makes your tank pretty damn near invincible. Um, the only thing you have to really be aware of is people trying to outflank you and stuff like that which unfortunately for the Tiger um, it, the traverse speed for the turret is somewhat slow so you have to you have to definitely keep an eye out for people that are trying to flank you and just try to you know try to hang back a little ways away from the from the battle and stuff like that and um, the reason you want to be watching out for flanking is because if you notice in the x-ray if someone gets a perfect side shot on you they can ammo rack you from here 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 or here and same thing on the other side um, so a way to counteract that is by of course angling the tank or what you can do is carry less ammunition right so, when I realized this, I started carrying less, less and less ammo, up to where I started carrying about eh, 36 to 38 shells um, in my tank. And honestly, that's all I really need because this 88 millimeter gun is really, really powerful. And if you get the drop on on some uh, some bad guys, um, you can put them out of commission. Usually, one or two shots, and the reload time is. Fairly, fairly decent, especially for a caliber such as an 88 millimeter gun. Um, so yeah, it all, it all works out fairly well. Um, yeah, that's pretty much about it about the Tiger One, really. It was really effective against early on uh, T-34s. Then when the Russians developed the T-34-85, the Tiger had a bit of a challenge to uh, to face, but it definitely got the job done. So uh, without further ado, here. Let's get into the action, shall we? Alright, so now we're doing a battle on Poland. Urban combat. There's a lot of urban combat on this map. Um, I may not do very, very good here because I'm not really used to urban combat with my Tiger. And also this guy sent a message saying I was helping him out with something. I, say, I, I know I did, but I don't remember what battle I helped him out in. <laughs> Alright. <coughs> Signal spawn. Hey, I'll spawn down here. Grab my tiger. Yes. 
Let's do this. Alright, let's go ahead here. Far around this side. Okay, so do you wanna not? Oh, okay, I'm gonna go. Alright, I'm gonna go. Thank you, Sherman. So I give way to the Tiger One! <laughs> Alright, so we have the Tiger One, the Tiger DJ, one of the It's here too. C3485, Panther D, C3485, Tiger One, CB5, Fuck the Trees, the White Bee Wanglers, we don't need options, we see tanks. Alright, <coughs> right on. So, hopefully, by doing this, we might be able to outflank some of our opponents here. And I might be wise to get some cover behind these hills, that way we don't get more racks. The hot dog team captain can see. But our teammates stopped it. Big kitty, cold kitty, big machine of doom, deadly kitty, panzer kitty, boom, boom, boom. Allied forces have captured a zone. Oh, they got him as I shot. <laughs> wow, okay. Alright. Well, I almost killed him, but my bullet didn't travel fast enough. Which seems to travel at light speed. A light force has captured a zone. We're gonna go back this way. Definitely go back this way. Hey, I might actually be able to kill some of their uh some of their tank warriors if they have any set up. I might poke my head in here and there, try to see if I can get a shot from one of these guys now. We have taken these incidents! This tiger one here. Oh, it tends to be out there. Allied forces have captured a zone. I don't see any tanks out in that field right there. It looks like the majority of them are concentrated in the center. Panther G, heavy tank, yep. I wonder if I can one shot him right here. Hell no! saw me. Hopefully my armor can block Enemy two shots. Once the marauder's gonna get me. Nah, he's not gonna kill me. He's too stupid. Last mistake, marauder. Last mistake. They never fired at the Tiger 1. <laughs> you see, we angle properly. Um, you know, those rounds are either going to reflect or just pass through some of uh, the less important parts of the tank. And I have lost one of them. Oh, baby! That was awesome. Oh dear, I might 
Tree, protect me. Oh, that was a miss. Enemy forces have captured that zone. I'll just keep the angle. Load. Come on, come on. What am I doing, driver? Enemy forces have captured the zone. Ricochet, damn. Those tracks are making me ricochet, probably. And it's angling. Oh my god, why'd he stop? No, 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 reload faster. My heart is racing. Oh! Come here, you shoot me, man. You're knocked out. Yep. Oh, yeah. Definitely got it. Let's keep the pressure on. Victory is close. But I didn't get ammo racked up, which is good. See if I can get to that same sniper position again. And uh see what happens. I'll use the uh pen floor now here. The pay to win tank. Oh shit, that's the IS1 sitting right there near a spawn. Can't have that. I could increase the vitality of my crew. Oh, I could refresh my crew too. We need artillery support! The artillery is ready. Watch it out. Confirming fire. Oh, baby, turn your turret, turn your turret, turn your turret. Also, worry about that T 34 out there as well. I want to load my heat shells for this. It might get close and ugly.
one shot. What's that like? We're ahead right of again. the enemy. Oh damn! Couldn't penetrate. Right again. Oh no! They moved again. Shield the bomb! Yeah! <laughs> Great, now I'm stuck with tier 2 tanks. <laughs> oh god. I'm about to win this anyways though. That's okay. A little more effort. And victory will be ours. I know my teammate is trying to help and all, but he should really have bombed me. That's whatever. We got three kills. I'll take it. Yeah, I might be able to get into a bomb when the game ends. No! That was still pretty fun. See what kind of research we got going on for the Tiger E. Oh wow. <laughs> got a shitload of research points right there. Damn gone. Alright, so we finally got a horizontal turret drive. <clears throat> Which is good because with that, that'll hopefully make the turret and the T no Tiger 1 turn a lot faster. And research was that heat chills? Yep. Let me research that now. Remember, I said use the bomber. Right? You save me from the enemy. I ask him what map. Ah, shit! I, I, oh, he was in a bomber. Ah, oh, I, I, I honestly don't remember. I, have, I probably have to watch a replay at some point. Alrighty, let's find another map and hopefully get some more Tiger 1 gameplay in here. Alright, now we'll see what we do here on Advance to the Rhine. I rarely play this map, so the only where to go for me is, uh, won't be quite the challenge. I want to get away in this cave. Very, very powerful. I go this way. Just gotta watch out for my right flank here. Attack the C point! What? Let's see here and wait for me. One. Allied forces have captured the zone. Boom! Fiddle grenade. on fire. Hopefully he doesn't have FBE's research or let my teammates screw up. Tried. My teammates are going to hit him with a 
the 88 millimeter gun man I tell you what oh teammate you got in the way shit sorry man My tiger one brother! Right in the middle of their spawn, I'll 
do it. Hopefully my teammates can cover me. That is an ocean. Gotta watch out for that kill speed. No, he went exactly through my tiger. Oh no, he's still alive. Okay. That was another good game right there. Very quick game too. Wow. That, uh, that was intense. We completely fucked them up. Let's see how we did. By the way, that, that last game was not edited whatsoever. It literally lasted that long. <laughs> I mean, that shit ended quick. Like, four critical hits, five assists, and three ground units destroyed. That's a pretty damn good game, if I do say so myself. And I got heat cells now, so when I get up close and personal, I can use these bastards and really do some damage. Alright, now I'll research FEE for damage control. Oh man. So I don't know if I want to end the video now or go for another match. I don't know. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I think I'll end the, I'll, I'll end the video for now. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, leave a like or dislike if whether you like the video or not. Um, other than that, take care guys.